Hello ladies and gentlemen, An Idiot Imports is sponsored by PlayAsia, and this copy of the game you're about to see probably came from them as part of their sponsorship deal, unless I very specifically say it didn't in the video. If you want to support this series, use the link in the description to go to PlayAsia and buy an item or two, it'll help me out and increase the budget I get for import games. You can also use the coupon code BLUEVITA at checkout to save a bit of money, but it won't count towards my sales if you don't use that link. Either way, thanks for your support and enjoy the show. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Blue Maxima and I'm here checking out One Tap Hero. Now you might be wondering, I've never heard of this game, what the fuck is he doing checking this one out? Well, that's the thing. In an interesting little twist, the Vita was recently legalized in China. So they actually got their Vitas and they actually got a bunch of games with them that were mostly exclusive at the time. One of them I believe was Mr. Pumpkin Adventure. However, after some of them came out worldwide, there's only two left, and this is currently one of them. So, we're going to check out One Tap Hero. Not that much to see out here in the actual menus. We've got sound and music sliders, a credit screen and a help screen, and we don't need any of those. So, we're going to go straight into the game, shall we? I'm currently a third of the way through, and this is just under an hour. I currently have trophy notifications turned on, so when I do hit an hour, it will actually pop up a trophy, because that's one of the bloody trophies in this game. Now, most of these... Mo most of these level names are okay. You got Coco Town, you got Tribal Land, you got Black Forest, and you got what's probably Coco Town 2. However, this level here, Laputa, I was wondering where the hell I had heard that before, so I put it in the Google Translate. Yeah, okay, um, not the best name that you could have given a level in your game, but whatever, I assume you're Chinese, you don't really, either A, you don't understand, or B, you think it's really funny, and to be fair, it actually is kind of funny. But nevertheless, let's actually go and hop into a level, shall we? We might as well start with Laputa. I'm just going to turn up the screen, the brightness on the screen here, because I can barely see it in this lighting. So this is a very simple mobile port. Three stars on every level, and you need a certain amount to get to the next ones. And there's also keys that you can use to unlock bonus levels and stuff like that, but nothing too out of the ordinary. So I'm just going to pick a random level. We're going to hop in, and we're going to see what the dealio is. Loading times aren't that bad after the first couple. It's a little odd, but we'll work with it. So, here's the drill. The game's called One Tap Hero because it's only got one set of controls. And they're all accessed via either the face buttons or the touch screen. I'm currently using the touch screen, but we can also use the face buttons as well. And the general idea is very simple. Using this one set of controls, you have to wander around the levels, collect all three stars, and you'll eventually get a score out of it based on how long you took and how many stars you got. You can also find bits of money, and those monies aren't, that money isn't actually useful for very much. You can use it to get costumes. And that's pretty much it. Like, seriously, I don't think there's anything else in this game money is good for, except for costumes. There are also stages that have keys in them, and as you have seen already, you use them to unlock bonus stages. You can see that there's a key down there. You can't also- you also can't reverse unless you do this. So, so see how I hit an invisible wall up there? Well, that- that's- that's how it works. So you have to hit the arrows on the wall, and I don't know why I just died there. That's a bit of a bug. Thankfully, you can- you can skip levels at will, which is exactly what I'm going to do, just so you don't have to watch me play through that entire level again. Not that much else to talk about, really. They use some neat little mechanics to utilize the fact that you've only got one control to work with. And the overall presentation is okay, and the performance is not great. It can slow down on the more complex scenes, but... Other than that, it's okay. I mean, obviously there are better games that you could be playing, especially for how much this game cost, but it's not that bad. Not in the grand scheme of things. There are some things I kind of like about it, actually. The art style is actually relatively cute. There are these little cutscenes you, you... You can't spell amateur, can't you, guys? That's not how you spell amateur. 
you do have a few things that you can do, like, um, you do have a few things... Uh, sorry, my brain's not working with me today. There are a couple of things that are neat about this game, like, one particular thing that I actually kind of like is that they have an absolute ton of references to the Matrix in this one. No, I don't know why either, it makes no sense to me. And then there is also... There, there's also these little comic book cutscenes that they have, which are actually pretty neat as well. Basically, the general idea of the plot of this game is that some evil witch comes around and turns your girlfriend into a bear. And every time that the, that this wizard or whatever comes around and does it, every time that this wizard actually comes around and does it, your girlfriend just gets more and more mad, and it's actually kind of cute. I'll get around to showing you one of these cutscenes once we are actually finished with this set of levels, because it won't be... whoops. <laughs> it won't be long, is what I was trying to say. Not, it won't be whoops. Although, to be fair, this is me we're talking about. I'm surprised there haven't been a hundred more whoopses. Let's skip this level, because you can kind of see what it's going to go like just by looking at it. Hang on, spikes above. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> I'm guessing I'm going to need to jump immediately, like as soon as the... Fuck. Cunt. <laughs> Jesus, really? Okay, jump. Okay, maybe I have to wait for it to come back. You've got all sorts of different mechanics going on, like you've got rolling boulders, you've got portals, you've got pretty much anything you can think of, realistically, in this sort of game, shows up. The third set of levels is just entirely dedicated to showing... entirely dedicated to having these dudes that follow you around. No, that's not one of the pools you can walk in, and I've gone and screwed myself. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Alright, let's back out. Hit pause. And back out. So you can hit tap this little thing in the top right corner there, and you can buy these things, these little costumes here. And for whatever reason I can equip this Chinese dragon. I'm not entirely sure why, I don't remember buying that. But yeah, as you can see, some of them cost you money, and you've also got... You can also buy keys to make things a little bit easier on yourself. So if I hit back again, we can come back to the level select. You can see how many stars you need up the top there to get into the next set of levels. And if we tap the little thing there, it'll let, it'll play the cutscene for us. Uh, the, the face on that bear, it just, it, it's very clearly a not-this-shit-again face, and it's actually, like, it's nice. Like, it, it's nice in that really simple way, you know? Anyway, we're gonna go to Tribal Land. I'm just gonna pick a random stage and go for it. Thankfully, you get access to every stage in the... Every stage in the... In the world, just almost straight away, so... Yeah. Circus Ball Walking. Okay. Oh, there I am. That's what I look like. Ooh, right. Okay, so that kills me. And I can just do that and get two scars, but... The game won't- you can see the guy following me and... They'll actually do things like trigger switches and stuff like that, which is actually kind of neat. So if I do this... There we go, now I pull this, and I immediately die because I can't stop moving. Right, you get the general idea, let's go to the next level because I've already done this one with two stars. Mushroom. I wonder what that's supposed to mean. Right. Okay, so he kills me, so this is obviously going to be some sort of puzzle related to... Dead. <laughs> this is obviously going to be some sort of puzzle related to... Who does what? Where? Because he needs to be the one to pull that switch. Now I need to jump up here. Jump across. Then jump on that so my direction reverses. Then jump on this again. Right, that's interesting. How do I get to that third one? Hmm. 
Nope. That's not how you do it. That's not how you do it either. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is about how I expected this to go. You know, wow, really? Not what I was expecting to happen, but I will take it. Hi, I'll take this. <laughs> Alright, now I just need to scale all this. Done! Three stars! Not the fastest way it could have been done, but I still got my three stars. I'm happy about it. Personal shopper, you say? Right, I assume I have to pull this at some point. Oh, I get it. I know what I have to do. Right, let's hit that restart button up there. There is also a little button in the top left there that looks like that sort of button that would be on a mobile game that would be like, Hey, I want you to... I, w I want you to buy ads for this. Uh, I want you to watch ads for this so that you can get some sort of power up. But look, look, if I tap it, if I actually tap it, I can use 500 coins, which you can't buy outside the game as far as I'm aware. And you can use that to watch how the level should be done. Mm -hmm. So there's no micro transactions or anything like that going on, which is good by me, because God knows I hate them. Yep, as expected. He pulls the switch again. And when he comes back up, he'll have all three stars. Drops down. And I assume this is where you crush him with the boulder. Take the stars and yeah, that that makes a perfect amount of sense. So let's go into like one more stage before we call this video off, because you really don't need to see more. It's decently well done for what it is, but it costs something like 10 bucks. And I am not a fan of it costing that much, especially when it's very clearly some kind of mobile port. I really don't like it costing that much, but I mean, if it was five bucks and available here and you were looking for something like this, I can't really say there's much better on the Vita, to my knowledge at least. Honestly, this isn't the sort of thing I usually try and keep tabs on, but you get the general idea. Don't even know where I'm going. Ooh, three stars and we win. I even got a thousand coins for it, because that's what that big coin is there. One more, one more. We'll round it up to about 14 minutes, I suppose. Please release me. Well, I want to get all those stars first. Bad idea. And I'm dead. <laughs> Oh, that sounds about right. Okay, let's give it another shot. Let's actually try instead of using the video to show me what this looked like. Fuck! <laughs> Can I make that jump in one go? I think that's the main thing I have to do here. Bang, bang, pull this. Nope, can't make it in one shot. So I'm guessing what I have to do... Almost had it. The game has a little bit of input lag, like it's very minor, but if you're used to your games reacting immediately, it's very obviously there, especially if you play on the touch screen, which is a little bit frustrating in all honesty, but yeah, I don't think that's the way it's meant to be done. I mean, to be fair, I don't even really need to do that, do I? Hang on. Okay. <laughs> Cunt! <laughs> what a bitch! Alright, let's give this another shot. Wow. Man, I said I was gonna do this just one little puzzle and I can't even do that. I am useless. 
Right, I think I know what I need to do. The question is, how do I do it without getting myself killed? I'll take it, that's it. <laughs> I don't really feel the need to play this anymore. But yeah, there you go. That was a look at One Tap Hero, one of the currently Chinese exclusive Vita titles. And it's a Chinese exclusive Vita title that's also a mobile port that... Actually, you know what, that's a good question. Is this game actually available worldwide? Because I've never heard of One Tap Hero before. And looks like we have an Android listing. And it's compatible with everything I own. So yeah, it's available worldwide. The only way you can play it on the Vita is via getting a... <laughs> the only way you can play it on Vita is by getting a Chinese account. Thankfully, the other game I have here that's Chinese exclusive is actually a lot more interesting. So... This has been Blue Maxima, and I will see you all next time.